Hey folks, how's it going? Been a while, hasn't it? Uh, I'm coming to you with just a really, really short video today. Uh, something that I haven't seen. I've seen a few news channels talk about it. I've seen a few websites talk about it. But overall, it hasn't garnered that much attention, particularly in the prepper community. Uh, and that issue is uh, the peach crop issue for 2023. Now, here in Georgia, where I live, we had an extremely mild winter, followed up with an extremely late freeze. Uh, and for those that don't know, in order to for fruit uh, peach trees to bear fruit, they have to have a certain amount of time below freezing, and then after they bloom, after the the bloom set, uh, a late frost can can damage the crop. And what we had was we had not enough days in some areas, not enough days below freezing before bloom. Uh, in my case, my peach tree bloomed out beautifully. I mean, it was just loaded with blooms. But uh, about four or five days after it bloomed out, we had a, uh, a quick freeze one night. And then about a week later, or a week and a half later, I believe it was, we had another freeze. Uh, because of that, I don't have a single peach on my peach tree. Normally by now, there's usually a large number of peaches on there. I, I tend to lose a lot of my peaches, at least I have over the past few years, because of some issues with my tree that I've been trying to deal with. But this year, I haven't had one single uh, peach. Now, um, it's not just Georgia that is experiencing this problem. Um, much of Alabama has had similar issues with their peach crop. Even on up into Illinois, Illinois is reporting massive losses in peach crops. Uh, I think the official stats so far for Georgia is that 90% uh, of Georgia's peach harvest has been lost. It's completely gone. It either didn't produce or it damaged the fruit so bad that they'll never mature. As a result, we're going to see fewer peaches, which coincides with higher peach prices. Um, and there's, there's going to be a shorter supply of these, either as fresh fruit or as canned or um, preserved items that you might see in the stores. So expect to pay more for items that have peach in it, or fresh peaches in particular. Uh, the prices will be going up. They've already talked about it. They're hoping for a better year next year, but it, that's one of the things that you can never predict. Uh, this has happened in the past, so this isn't nothing extremely unusual, but it does happen from time to time. There are some people that are blaming this on climate change. Whether it is or isn't, that, that's up for debate. I'm not going to get into that. What I will say is something that I haven't seen anybody else discuss, uh, discuss, and that is my peach tree, like I said, has no peaches on it. My pear tree usually produces really heavily. So far this year, apparently the same issue, the same weather issue has affected my pear tree because this right here is the only pear on my entire tree that I've found so far. Uh, I've been looking and looking multiple times, and I've yet to see any other pair. This is the sole pair on this tree. So, the reason I bring this up is, um, and as I'm, as I'm talking, I'm looking around, and I'm still not seeing any more. And I've looked several times. But, this has impacted the peach harvest, obviously. But, it could potentially affect other fruits as well, uh, other crops. So bear that in mind, be aware of that. Prices on that may go up. But one of the key points that I wanted to talk about was that this reinforces the need for variety. If you grow vegetables, if you grow uh, fruit trees or berry bushes, 
variety is critical uh, because you have, for example, with fruit trees, you have some that produce and bear early in the season, and you have some that produce and bear late in the season. Some varieties might still have produced despite this late frost because they produce later in the season. Now, um, I've seen reports from Illinois where later producing, later bearing varieties still produced. Uh, but I've also seen where reports from the South here in Georgia and Alabama where those later producing varieties were hit just as hard. So it's not a foolproof solution, but it increases the odds of you being able to harvest something if you have a variety of uh, in your in your garden or in your orchard. Don't stick with just one variety. Have as many varieties, have as much diversity in your garden or in your orchard, what have you, as possible. That can help soften the blow of a bad season like this. Um, that's really all I've got to say on the subject. I mean, there's not much more I can say about that. This also reinforces the fact, I, I will add, that it reinforces the fact that the importance of what, those years that you do have good crops, those years that you have what they call a bumper crop, extra, extra good harvests, that you preserve, you put up as much as possible uh, to help cushion the years that your crops, your harvests don't do as well. Uh, last year was a really, really good year. I didn't put up as much as I would like. Uh, I, I got sidetracked with a lot of things, uh, and that's my fault. But I didn't can, I didn't freeze, I didn't preserve uh, as much of my pear harvest or my peaches as I had intended to. And because of that, I'm going to have less to deal with this year to get me through this poor harvest, this, this poor crop season. Um, as a result, I'll end up, whenever I need to, to use some, I'll need to buy them from the store, and I'll end up paying a higher price for them. So, again... This is more reinforcement to the fact that you need diversity uh, to provide more resilience for your garden, your orchard, your food crops. Uh, but not only that, when you have bumper crops, when you have really good harvests, freeze, can, dehydrate, um, Anything you can freeze dry as much as you possibly can, even if it seems like way more than you uh, you might need. You never know; the next year might be a really bad year for that particular crop. So, just keep that in mind, folks. Um, again, this is going to be a really short video. I know I haven't posted in a while. There's a lot going on with that. I don't really want to get into right now. Uh, I am trying, folks. I really am. I've just been dealing with some stuff. But I did, uh, I did have this video on my mind for the past three or four weeks, actually. And I haven't seen it talked about enough on YouTube. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick video for my viewers. Anyway, uh, I'll try to get some more videos out as soon as I can. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, keep prepping, don't get complacent. And until next time, folks, I'll catch you later.